Welcome to the world, little chick. Let's draw a chick hatching from an egg. Sketch or strong, let's have some fun telling stories. You can draw! We'll be using some white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, and something to color your drawing, like crayons or colored pencils. And remember to put something under your drawing so the black marker doesn't go through your paper onto the table below. Let's start by drawing the shapes we'll use to draw this character and draw them very lightly with your pencil because we'll come back and trace these pencil lines with a black marker. I'll start by drawing a large circle. Just a big round circle. Don't worry if it's not a perfect circle. And then I'll draw a line right through the middle from left to right. So you have a top half and a bottom half. On the top half of that big circle, I'll put a smaller circle and that will be the little chick's head. And then two little lines, which will be the bird's body. Then in the middle of the little chick's head, I'll put a little triangle, which is the chick's beak. And then on top of the little chick's head, I put three little circles lined up across the top of its head. two little dot eyes on each side of the little triangle beak, and those are the shapes we'll use to create the little chick hatching from an egg. If your shapes look kind of like these, then you're ready to go to the next step, and that is to pick up your black marker and trace the pencil lines. I'll start by tracing the little circle, which is the chick's head, and I'll come down and add the two little lines, which is the chick's body and then a zigzag line across that pencil line through the middle of that large circle and trace the bottom half of that big circle and that becomes the egg. I'll go back up to the chick's head and trace the triangle, which is the beak, and some two little dots for eyes. And then on top of the little chick's head, those three little bumps, that's a comb. That's a part of the little chicken that sticks up on top of its head. And then we'll draw two little wings on this little chick. A straight line out and some bumps on the bottom. A straight line out and bumps on the bottom. They look like little wings. And then put some motion marks, some little lines around the wings. It'll make the wings look like they're flapping up and down. Now we've finished with our marker drawing. We can go back and erase the pencil lines. Those pencil lines helped us know where to put the marker lines, but we're finished with our marker drawing, so we can get rid of those pencil lines and move on to the color. I think I'll add a few more details, some little pieces of shell around the bottom of the egg. Details can really be important in your storytelling. Now it looks like the chick has just hatched from the egg. And if you want to make this a blue bird or a red bird instead of a chick, you can make that little part on its head a hat or some feathers and just add your own color. I'll speed up this part of the video. You'll get an idea of how I colored the little chick hatching from the egg. Have fun! was fun. A little chick hatching from an egg. That's a great character for a story. What's the first thing little chick sees after it hatches? Hmm, you could make a story. What would your story be? Well, thanks for joining me. And until next time, when we get together to sketch and strum, we'll have some fun telling stories you can draw. Remember to subscribe to this channel because there's a lot more fun ahead.